My name is Julia Ankeny and this is my new service dog Opal. I have been waiting for about two and a half years to be placed and we are just finishing up our handler training here in San Diego. So it's been much anticipated, but she's she's been a dream. <laughs> the moment that Jen walked in with Opal, I, I'm sure I just had the dumbest look on my face. I mean, I was so excited and I cried a little bit. I was, I didn't know how to react. I was like happy laughing. I'm sure I sounded crazy. And it was just, it's just seeing her for the first time and, and knowing, and I think I asked them, I said, is that my dog? Is that, that one's for me? And it was just um, incredible. And I, uh, I can't explain the, the relief and the, uh, the excitement. It was just, it was really a magical moment. Opal is a psychiatric service dog. So she's trained to help alert me to panic attacks and dissociative episodes. She's also um, trained in non-protective boundary control, so she can help give me that personal space. And she's also really good at what she's doing right now, which is deep pressure therapy. So Opal is going to come to uh, college with me in Texas. Having her in my life is just going to dramatically change the way that I go about being independent and um, can live my life freely as, as an adult. And so it's really amazing to have something that looks as cute as this and uh, serves such an important function. So I actually was in probably one of the worst states that I've been in and you know it was kind of looking just like what is there left to do and to stumbled across you know psychiatric service dro dogs kind of on mistake and it's just been one of the best mistakes I've made and I'm very very happy to have um, discovered something that can be so helpful uh, especially since it's not it's not so well known that that they can help in this way. My hope for the future is that Julia and Opal will continue to grow and bond together and, you know, really form kind of a, a lifelong commitment towards, you know, mutual respect for each other and um, kind of develop a relationship that can evolve into something that is kind of becomes a given so that Opal um, over time just becomes more of Julia's, you know, an, an extra appendage. Before I was placed with Opal, I think that I definitely went through frustrating times where, you know, the wait just seems like it's endless and it's just, it's never going to happen. And in these past few weeks, my perspective has completely changed because I've been able to see the other side of it and I see how much work has gone into this dog and just how perfect she is for me. And I don't know how they did it, but they found the perfect dog for me. And that just helps me feel like the whole wait was totally worth it. and. You know, I, that wait, in that time, I was waiting for, for my perfect dog. It's been really amazing how just having this dog around in the past um, week or so has, I just feel a complete sense of calm. And I just feel like this is the dog that is meant for me. And I, I can tell that she's so in tune with me. It feels like I can just breathe a little bit better because I know that she's there for me. And you know we're going to work together to make sure that I can go about my day as smoothly as possible. And that's something that I really didn't have before before I was placed with Opal. So it's very special.